So there's been one of those old adage things floating around for a while now about how a mechanic's vehicle is the last one to ever get any work done on it. And unfortunately for old Blue here, that is certainly the case. For years now, the power steering has been terribly noisy. And it's usually not too bad on the five miles between home and work. But if I ever take it to town, I mean, it's like Andre the Giant with a head cold sound. It's a nice fault being the biggest and the strongest. I don't even exercise. It's bad. So I think it's finally time to dig in and change this power steering pump out. Darn it. Do not want to do this. Reman. Oh dear, what was that? So shortly after I got this vehicle, and it's been more than a few years now, I went ahead and got on eBay because I'm so incredibly cheap, and I bought a Reman Cardon, Cardon, Cardone power steering unit. Of course, I'm too cheap to get the one with the reservoir included. I don't know how long this thing's been kicking around in this old box, but. It screams 90s. So, not only do I have to change out the unit, but I gotta change out the pump as well. That is assuming it is the right one. So I think to make my life easier, I'm gonna start with taking off the plastic shroud, the top half, and then we can get to the fan a little bit easier. These have been upgraded to American. Okay, what I have here is my old Matco MST93 pulley remover and installer. I bet you I've owned this for 20 years at least. Put a little anti-seize on these threads before I get ahead of myself here. This is always kind of a juggling act to get this all set. And I put the, the ring, looks like a cam bearing, back in the case. Holds it all together for you. Now if we can tension on there, it'll hold it. Probably should have left the belt on to... Uh, to break the C's loose the first time. To coin a term, break the C's. Make sure that's centered. It doesn't look like it right now. I'll try getting a wrench on that nut. This is the main reason I didn't want to do this job. This one's not too bad. I've done worse. Actually, two or three times I sucked all the oil out of the steering 
put in new oil, put in seal conditioner, ran it, quieted it down for a day or two, and then it just gets noisy again. And the oil has finally stayed looking clean. It was like a nasty milkshake the first few times I did it. And that finally cleared up, but uh, it still gets noisy, so pump is just shot. This thing was just abused by the previous owner, and that's all you can say. Okay. Is it just me, or has anyone else out there always felt like GM thought their power steering pumps were going to just rip free of their moorings of, at any moment? I mean, they bolt that thing in there like it's... I don't know. Oh well. It's always better to have too much than too little. Okay, there's these three, and then there's also one way down deep under there. Not even going to attempt to show you that. I'll show you the bracket. Uh, okay. There it is. Assuming you can see that. Yeah, you can. I'm going to take this pressure line off. Unless I could get this from here. Let's see. Maybe I don't even have to get that far into it. It's going to be very inconvenient to work on this thing down in there. I'm going to make a mess either way, so it might as well be convenient. Nothing beats a convenient mess. Now, if I can get that back how I had it. Oh, I got my, I got my wiring connected yet. Oh, nuts. Snapped it. Hey, make your bets now on how many bloody knuckles I come out of here with. Oh, they popped my shoulder. Oh. There we go. You bet zero, you win. Sounds like someone using the enamel chamber pot. Anyway, the other hose, of course, has just slipped on the the line and clamped on. And out she comes. Well, good morning. I got called into the house last night, check out some funny cat videos, you know, that's pretty cool. No shortage of those online. Anyway, pulled the 48 in, because I'm not going to leave it outside and need to switch the cars around again. So we got a new day, some new flannel, let's get to work. Actually the flannel's quite old, it's not new at all.
She's a little bit frosty outside. It wasn't until I went in last night I realized I didn't even record the sound for you of, of this power steering. You know, it's a bad deal when you live in a small or near a small community and everyone knows you work on cars and you're the guy going through town you pull into the gas station everyone looks at you it's maybe I'm working for pity I don't know Alrighty, I'm going to start cleaning everything. You don't need to see that. You know what to do there. Probably not too interesting. And I will see you on the other side. Alright, we're going to jam this thing back together. I got all the big chunks off. Um, you know, you could clean it up and paint it even more. In this case, that would just make the rest of the engine self-conscious. So we're not going to bother doing that. Okay, that's those three. Got the stud down underneath. And to be completely honest with you, there should be another one up high on the back here. You can see the the forked bracket right there. And I'm trying to remember. I think it must have been this head I replaced when I got this truck because we had a cracked uh, 
a crack in the combustion chamber and either there was something different about it or something I just can't remember why I couldn't use that end of the bracket but like I said GM always used a ton of bolts on these power steering pumps on their small blocks you know I've got three just holding it to this extremely rigid aluminum bracket alone then that other one at the bottom on the back side that thing is not going to budge ever as it is so and in fact I've been running it for years just like that so I'm going to get the lines back on that sensor wire back on and we will keep on moving okay I've got lines on everything's tightened down even put fluid in it uh, of course that'll circulate through the empty lines and have to be refilled ready to put the pulley on I've got my reinstaller stud there already started you can tell it's the most popular one that's been used out of my kit because it's bent and the threads were stripped I hope we got one last pull on it I'm gonna have to see if that's still a good part number and reorder one but if I recall that goes on and then I put this little bearing on and then I thread this back on that in there Well, there it is and it spins nice um, yeah I think I'll move you backwards a little and we will get this belt on and we'll try it out just for fun to know whether this thing's running or not. Hey, that's going to do it once again. Thanks a lot for coming along. I know this is a newer vehicle than usual, um, but you know the thing is over 20 years old already. Anyway, let me know if you want to see more on this. It, it could really use a lot of help. Um, in any case, it's going to be so nice driving this thing around town uh, and not listening to that constant whine. But for now, I've got a lot of cleaning up to do. Got to pull this out, probably pull my son's 90 Silverado in, either pull the engine or pull the transmission, and uh, work on the rear main, the clutch, anything else we can find. So for now, thanks for coming along. God bless you guys. We'll see you on the next one.